Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to purchase the Pit Jupiter token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to purchase BNB using Binance, transferring that over to your Trust Wallet, and then swapping your BNB on PancakeSwap for the Pit Jupiter token. Now, it's very easy to do, so you just got to follow along. And I'll just like to let you guys know as well, I do have lots of cryptocurrency tutorials coming out of my channel on a daily basis. So if you guys are into those kinds of videos and want to know what the new coins are and how to purchase them, I really recommend subscribing to the channel. As all, like I said, I'll have daily content. Uh, anyhow, uh, just follow along here and we can get you guys purchasing the Pit Jupiter token. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So I'm going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on Create a New Wallet. And that's just going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once your BNB is in your smart chain on your trust wallet, all you guys have to do is go over to the first link I have in the description. It'll be over to BSC scan. We're, we're going to copy the contract address and then paste it into our trust wallet. So we'll then add to our trust wallet. So if you guys just go ahead and click on that first link, you will then see it'll take you over to BSC scan here where you see the Pit Jupiter token. 
So we can just scroll down here and you just see the contract address right here. So just go ahead and copy that contract address. Then all we want to do is exit out of here and go back over to Trust Wallet. Once we're back into Trust Wallet, we want to go to the top right of the screen where we see the two lines and the two dots. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that and then paste that address that we got there into here. And we're just going to see custom token here. So we're going to click on add custom token. We're going to change the network over to Smart Chain. And then we're going to paste that address that we got from BSC Scan in here. For name and symbol, we're just going to do Pit Jupiter. Now, guys, once this changes, like once the coin gets more traction, this will then change. They will update this themselves. But for now, we're just going to put this in here so our coins are safely stored. Uh, now, for decimals, we're just going to put 9 and then click on Done. And then we're going to click on Save. Once that is done, you will then see that in your wallet there. So we can back out of here. And then we will see the Pit Jupiter in our wallet right here. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to head over to the browser option on the bottom. If you guys don't have the browser option there, you just have to go to the second link I have in the description as well as in the comment section down below. And it's going to bring you over to this website right here where you just have to go and enable your DApp browser. Very, very easy. You just got to click on this link right here. And then you just got to click on open. And then it will give you that browser option in your application. Very, very simple. But once you guys have that, you guys can just head up over to Trust Wallet and go to your browser, then to PancakeSwap. Once you guys are on PancakeSwap, if this is your first time using it, you guys have to go to the top and click on Connect. Once you guys click on Connect, you will then see Trust Wallet there. So just go ahead and click on Trust Wallet, and then it will pair your wallet with PancakeSwap. You will then see your BNB balance in your PancakeSwap account. Now, for whatever reason, if you have BNB in your Trust Wallet and you don't see it in PancakeSwap, you just have to transfer it over to the Smart Chain. Uh, so it's very, very simple to do. You just go over to your Trust Wallet and transfer it over to Smart Chain by clicking on Transfer. Uh, but once you guys have your BNB in here, you guys are good to go. So we're just going to click on Selected Currency and paste that same address in here that we got from BSC Scan. We will then see Pit Jupiter right here. So we just click on Add and then click on Pit Jupiter. That will then be in our exchange. So uh, we just have to set our slippage tolerance to 12%. And to do that, you just want to go up to or it says Exchange. To the right of that, you will see a button with three lines. Click on that and just change that to 12%. Once you guys have changed the 12%, you can then decide how much BNB that you want to transfer over into Pit Jupiter. So let's just say if I wanted to do 0.2, I could type in 0.2, and it will show me how much Pit Jupiter I'll get in exchange for that. Now, if you guys are okay with that exchange, you can just click on where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. It'll just tell you to purchase or swap right there, and then it will give you a broken down version of your transaction showing your fees and your conversion rate and things like that. Now, if you're okay with that, you can go ahead and confirm that transaction. Once you guys confirm the transaction, it should only take a couple minutes for your Jupiter to be in your wallet. And to see it, you just want to back out of here, go over to your wallet, and your Pit Jupiter will be here in a couple minutes. So it's very easy and simple to do. I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to purchase the Pit Jupiter token. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.